Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go seven. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go twenty-four hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your soul, and you respect your mind. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 325, NASDAQ off 51, SP's off 19 and a half, gold contract up a buck 20, trade at 1901 an ounce. You get silver down up, up 21 cents, $24.20 .20 an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck 28, $92.35 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note trading down seven ticks, 126.15, the 30 year off two ticks at 152.31 and King Dollar. King dollar is down 66 ticks, trying 9601. The euro right now is at a price point of 113. The yen is at 115. The British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's go take a look at them. So we get the spy out here. We get high volatility. High volatility is going to keep being here, folks. Bottom line. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. The SPY get down to 425.86. The high volume low is 420.76. This is going to get tested. We're not tested yet. It's going to get tested. The if we take a look at the futures, what you're going to see out here, we bring the futures up. You're down 18 right now, which is nothing compared to what we were down. We went down all the way to 42.50. Right now, you're 75 points ahead of that. Bottom line. You know, haven't hit that low, man. That low is at 42.12. Now, the NQs are a different ballgame. What the NQs did do is that overnight, the NQs tested their low. The low that we're talking about inside the NQs is 13.706. Well, we went to 13.580. And this is where this gets wild. So if we take a look, let's just put this up. I'll get to the, the, the volume characteristics because it's lighter volume. There's no doubt about that. What you have is this, that right now you, you get 990,000 contracts versus 1.3. That being said, I suspect that we're not done at these levels. And the, the, and the reason would be, that, let me bring up the cues for a second, because the cues missed the low, number one, only by 15 cents or something, but that's, that's important when the test isn't done. 334.15. We hit 334.35. So the bottom line, you missed it by 20 cents. But that's not the kicker. What I've found is the kicker is this. I, I've only seen these lows get tested either once or twice before like this in, in the last 20, 25 years, whatever it is, meaning that the future tested it overnight, the market didn't test it, and bottom line is I actually forgot, well, okay, does it go back and test it or not? And I... The bottom line is that I really, I do forget, okay? That being said, what I don't forget is that you just don't have one industry test the low. So this S&P is going to test that low. So, you know, yeah, you can play bounces, but be really careful because what's happening is that my take is that we're going to go right into and after that area again. The real question is going to be, do you get a good bounce going first? And... I suspect that we're actually not. I suspect what's going to happen here is that you're going to get a sideways move and you're actually going to build cause. And if that's what we get, if we start going sideways, folks, for three or four days, be really careful because that's building cause to go after a B point and it would be a very large ABC structure on the way down. The gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at gold. Gold's in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Bottom line. That being said, I expect what gold's going to do is turn into a complex ABC. And the reason I think this is that what gold did is did 100% move of a move. Once it did the 1882, that's 100% move of a move. It did break the B point, broke it with volume. It's a nice ABC up to 1846 or at 19. We hit 1918 today or at 1900. Um, we'll see where it shakes out. That, that's the real bottom line. 
We take a look at the note and bond market. Note and bond market, they both want lower price, higher yield. Yeah, the, the note and bond market just can't get anything going. The 10-year today got up to the uh, 126.12, gave it up on price, right? I, I mean, sorry, 127.09, gave it up on price. Um, let me look at this for a second. I think that says four. Okay, that's really interesting, man. So it means we'll be back up there. This is pretty cool, actually. Actually, no, we didn't take a swing point up. So watch this. You see that, that volume in there? It's 4.1 million contracts. That is a monster amount of, of volume. But what have, should have happened is that it should have made it to the swing point. It didn't. And when you don't do that, <laughs> bottom line, you're going to be right back downtown. So you get a lot of moving pieces out here. And that's without even talking about the Ukraine. Okay. So if you really want to get your head wrapped around um, Putin, right, what you want to do, folks, is Google this. You're going to Google... Um, Putin. What was it? Okay. Google Putin, July 13th, 2021. Historical unity. You read that and that'll tell you everything you need to know about where Putin is, where he wants to be, depending on how long you've been listening to me here. I, I couldn't stand this guy forever. Bottom line, he's a killer. But if you read that, you're really going to understand the history behind the Ukraine, um, and it's a pretty cool history. And what it's, uh, the end result, the, the bottom, you can make your own decision on the end result. Read it, and you'll really get a nice education as to history, as to where he's going. And one of the biggest parts inside of that, read and don't uh, about the cream air part, okay? Because he already took over cream air. And when you actually look at it, you'll understand why he did. And you'll also understand why he's going to take over the rest of the Ukraine. I, it might not happen right now, but within four or five more years, you know, Ukraine is going to be part of Russia again. It, when you read it, you're going to see why. Dow Industrials right now down 328. Nasdaq's off 44. S&P's are off 19. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.